All right, I'm back out in the factory. Uh, it's raining again. It rained all last night, so everything is wet. Uh, but uh, couldn't be happier. Uh, my daughter wants to skate with us. So we're going to be skating together today. Uh, super excited. It's, uh, it's very rare that she wants to skate, so I'm going to take full advantage of it. So um, if you watched the video yesterday, uh, I was talking about the new Compass wheels. So Compass is the new company that I'm forming uh, to focus on big wheels, you know, anything from 72 to 110. Um, I was skating the big 100 millimeter wheels yesterday, and today these are the 72 millimeter Durham wheels. These are perfect for wish frames. Um, I really like them. They're 85A, so they're softer, give you a good grip, but they're super fast. The profile is perfect. Uh, I mean, what else to say? They're, they're a really great wheel. I'm also uh, bringing out some clothing, and this is the uh, fleece. So it doesn't have the embroidery yet, but this is a sample of the fleece. Uh, it'll have a nice little subtle compass logo over on the left. This is a size large. I don't know if that's your size. I'm like 170 pounds, 5'11". Uh, I enjoy long walks in the park, uh, but still. Um, so this is a large, if this is your size, and if you're interested, that's what a large looks like. All right, here we go. It's been uh, almost a year, and I think it was last summer that we skated last. It's just hard to get her out, but she's doing it. She's uh, <laughs> starting to feel confident wants to go on the transition. So I think as soon as the mini ramp clears, we'll, we'll go over to the mini ramp. Uh, but for now, I think we'll stay in this little small park and see, uh, see if she can get used to it. I think she's doing a pretty good job. She's feeling a lot more confident. She can get one foot up on the transition. I, it's been so long since I've learned how to skate. It's hard to teach. I think uh, if we could find some skating lessons, I think she'd really, really do well. I mean, she's motivated, so. All right, she's gonna take a break. I'm gonna skate this little mini park for a little bit and uh, <laughs> see what kind of trouble I can get into. This little uh, little quarter pipe is perfect for practicing top sights because this deck I can slip out and I've got a little top that I can hold on to. I'm feeling top sole today. <laughs> I don't know what it is, but it just feels like a uh, top sole day. So let's see if I have the uh, confidence to try it on the big ramp. So it's just like down there, but it's a smooth transition. So instead of the pedal that's going to pop up, it's a smooth transition. So this is what I want you to try to do. I want you to try to skate like this, and I want big bars. Big bars. I don't want any one foot or one foot like this. Carve around. You get some speed, right? You feel that speed. That's how we go so fast on the ramp. Try 
That was pretty good. I was impressed. I didn't think that she'd have the uh, the confidence to go up and come back down backwards. I'm uh, I need to bring her more often. All right, uh, she's going to take a break. I'm going to try to skate it a little bit, maybe get that topsail. That mini feels so fast today. Oh, it feels good. Um, I haven't skated mini ramp on wish frames in a long time. I don't know if I ever have. They feel great, especially with this setup. I mean, my my backside royale is fine. My frontside royale is fine. My sole is fine. Again, I mean, the sole plate is so big that it's like it's cheating, kinda. Like I feel like if I missed, something's wrong with me. So I'm glad I didn't miss. Uh, yeah, it felt great. All right, I got it my front side, so I'm going to do a front side here. Uh, I don't know that I'm going to have time next weekend, so I want to get a safety front side, just make sure that I've got one for the uh, blading community. And then I will try the top side. It's not the prettiest. I hope that I can skate next week. I like front sides on street. I'm not a big mini ramp fan, but it'll work. Get your front side in if you haven't. Uh, back to blade.com slash community. It's, uh, it's been a long time since I've done a real front side, so I'm sure it's been a long time for you too. It's the perfect time to try it again. All right, top sole. It's gonna, it's gonna happen. is a very, very little mini ramp, quarter pipe. But I've locked on, I've slid, I've fallen a couple times. I think I know what to expect on the big ramp. Just gotta stay in, stay inside, that's the trick. You know, I need to miss so that I land on my butt, swipe, miss the coping with my top side foot. As soon as I go too far over is when I'm gonna slide out and that's when I'm gonna get hurt, so. Gotta stay in the ramp. 
If I miss, so what? I land on my butt, no big deal. All right, see if I can find a break in the mini ramp. It's getting there. <laughs> it's getting there. Uh, God, it's scary. It's so scary not putting your feet down, like blindly throwing your back foot up there. I locked one though. Slid out a few, which is fine. I think I'll get it. Depends on how much time. Maxine's getting pretty tired, so see how much time I have, but I think I can do this. Just my luck. I go up to check the footage and my battery dies. So now I'm switching out the battery and the mini ramp is just full of skateboarders. So, but you can see that last one I landed nice and clean. Maxine's my witness. Even the skateboarder said that I did a good job. So I'll take it. Uh, that just means next time I come back, I know I can do it. All right, uh, get your front sides in. I got mine. Everybody get your front sides in, drblade.com slash uh, community. Also, Compass uh, pre-orders start on Thursday night at midnight. So if you want the 72s or the 100s, uh, you know where to go. Skateeverywhere.com. Thanks for watching, and uh, see you guys next week. There you go. That's it.